In order to identify an Aeschylus hippocastinum, look for the following features. A mottled, grey to brown, often silvered bark, breaking into large, chunky plates from semi-maturity onwards. In May would appear the erect, pyramidal flowering heads, each flower with a fine pink detail within the petals. And typically only some of those flowers on each pyramidal head being fertilised and maturing into the green husk of the conker fruit uh, with many fine spines protecting the uh, generally four piece capsule in which lies the seed. And the seed, of course, the distinctive, glossy, red-brown, mahogany-coloured uh, conker. The form of the tree is typically very broad, with large, heavy limbs arising low on the form of the tree, except in a woodland setting. On the spray, the large compound leaves are arranged opposite decussate on the twig. And this compound digitate leaf of Aeschylus hippocastinum each leaflet obovate with a acuminate tip and a coarse venation with rather fine serration at the leaf margin overall forming a very distinctive hand-shaped uh, outline. The winter form shows the heavy branches and the rather thick twig ends of this species, a distinctive winter silhouette. Probably the most reliable winter identification feature for Aeschylus hippocastinum are the large red pointed conic buds, the terminal bud generally being really quite large, sticky, uh, the lateral buds accompanied by uh, noticeable light brown leaf scars like horseshoes just below them.